Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, an ENT consultant of 15 years experience, practicing at Srinivas Speciality ENT Clinic, Malayshwaram, Bangalore. When uh, bacterial tonsillitis is uh, not adequately treated, it can lead to complications. Now, when bacteria affects a particular organ, there is some amount of in, uh, inflammatory reaction happening and formation of pus. Now, if this pus goes beyond the tonsil, it can get accumulated between the tonsil and the walls of your throat. This condition is called, or called as peritonsillar abscess. Now, this can become life-threatening. Uh, it will lead to difficulty in uh, breathing, it can uh, cause a very high rise temperature and if a pus is identified in that area, it has to be released. Now other than this, beta hemolytic streptococcus about which I have already spoken about, uh, when it affects the tonsil, uh, it also has um, a uh, character of releasing certain um, antibodies in the body which can affect the joints as well as the valves of the heart. Uh, in the past uh, um, era or in the recent past, uh, we have had multiple children succumbing to this problem in the form of having rheumatic heart disease. With the use of uh, penicillin and other uh, antibiotics which are available to us, the incidence of rheumatic heart disease has come down considerably. So beta hemolytic streptococcus not only affects the tonsils, but it can also affect the kidney, the joints as well as the hearts. So every tonsillitis needs to be looked at as if it, uh, somebody has a streptococcal infection. A swab has to be taken and um, evaluated whether it is beta hemolytic streptococcus and appropriately we will have to start the concerned antibiotic. That way we will be able to prevent uh, people from having complications.